Hey guys, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. This video is going to be about how to pour a large residential house floor using a Vibrascreed. A lot of you guys have asked for a Vibrascreed video, so this is it. Now in case you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in pouring concrete. We do all flat work, floors, slabs, stamp concrete, patios, pool decks, driveways. We do a lot of concrete repair. We do epoxy floors. So that's what this channel is about. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button now. Hit the little bell notification. I'm coming out with two to three videos a week about this kind of stuff. So I'm trying to help you guys learn. If this stuff interests you, then go, to, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button. As you can see, this is my crew here, guys. We're, we're just pouring out the concrete. We're obviously, we're pumping this, pouring it on a vapor barrier. The concrete has a vapor barrier. The concrete has a fiber mesh in it for reinforcement. We don't use a lot of wire mesh reinforcement in our house floors. Up here we use mostly just fiber mesh. And then we saw a lot of expansion joints with a soft cut saw after. If you guys aren't sure what a soft cut saw is, I'll, I'll leave a link for it down in the description to show you what we use. That's the best saw for saw and expansion joints in concrete. So here we are pumping it out. We like to pump out quite a bit before we start straight edging. We'll probably pump that whole truck out. That's a 10 yard truck. This is about a 30 yard pour. So we'll get that all pumped out and level out. We like to, we also like to have one guy kind of do each thing. One guy does the end of the hose on the pump. That's me there magging. And I have the, the laser stick in my hand. I'll shoot the pads. And then one guy breaking down. So what we do before we Vibrascreed, we strike our pads like that. You can see we got a 14 foot straight edge. We strike them by hand first. And the reason we do it this way is we're real fussy about how flat these floors are. So we know striking the pads by hand, they're perfectly flat. Sometimes with a Vibrascreed, the Vibrascreed can sink in a little bit or you can get a tiny little hump with it if you're not careful. Once we get our pads struck by hand, you can see we just set the vibra screed down real easy. Already running when we set it down. We start it before we set it down. And then uh, the guy just sets it down and he has it about half to three quarter throttle. And he just pulls it back nice and slow. It's those two guys raking that are the important part. Those are the guys that are going to they're gonna dictate really how flat the floor is. The guy running the Vibrascreed just needs to watch his ends and make sure both the ends are touching and leaving a tiny little line behind. And you can see I'm trying to keep up both floating. So there we are, striking the pad by hand again. That's perfectly flat. Guy starts the Vibrascreed, walks it in place, sets it down, and just slowly pulls it back watching his ends. If you got two good rakers like these guys, then fiber screeding is easy. If you don't, then your floor is not going to be very flat. So there's the first truck out. Now we're on to the second truck. We're going to dump this whole 10 yards out. Here's some music for you to listen while we're dumping this out. Yeah, you can see I jumped on the Vibrish Creed this time. I'm going to show these guys how it's done, get it done right. No, I'm kidding. My guys are my guys are awesome. They've both been with me a long, long time. They could do it. They could do this without me. 
as you can see, I'm just watching the end of the Vibra Screed. You got to make sure it's touching, guys. If it's if it's not touching, if it's not leaving a line, then you're leaving a hump somewhere. You can tell if it digs in too far. If it does, you just stop, walk back out in it a little bit, reset, and go back over it. You can see how we're working that edge. We're always working a wet edge. Two guys raking. I'm magging the edges. I'm shooting the pads. That's a Topcon laser I'm using, the, the RL5B. I'll have a link for that down there. That's, that's the best laser to use for this kind of flat work, guys. It's an awesome laser. For the money, you can't beat it. I would definitely recommend getting that laser if I was you. Especially if you're just starting out doing this stuff. It's very accurate. It self levels. Now you can see I gotta catch up with my bull floating. We're gonna pour the garage too here today. That's not gonna be on the video, but so we'll be doing a big house and a big garage on this pour. You can see we like to dump out quite a bit. Once you have a system down with what you do and how you pour, it's pretty fast. This house pour in all took us about probably 40 minutes to pour, 35 to 40 minutes. You can see my guy there magging that edge to the top of the wall. We use Marshalltown tools. We've always had good luck with Marshalltown. They're very high quality tools. They last a long time. I would recommend Marshalltown. I'll have a link for Marshalltown down in the description too, guys. If you want to check them out, you can buy right off their website. There we go, striking the pad again. We'll get this floor. This floor will be within a sixteenth of an inch up or down when we're all done trialing it. We're going to power trial this floor and the garage floor. That'll be on another video. So there I am going to get the Vibers Creed. We'll get this pulled down in no time. Here's some more music for you.
All right, guys. Hey, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button now. Hit the little bell notification also. I'm coming out with these videos two to three times a week. For you guys that want to learn how to do this, you know, I'm trying to teach you guys. Uh, check out my check out my other videos, my playlist. I got all kinds of other videos on there about how to pour concrete. So we're on the last truck now for this house. You can see we're all magging the edges. We like to pour out quite a bit of that concrete before we do anything. If you're not as experienced, then you can just pour out a little bit at a time, maybe maybe 14 or 15 feet instead of a, in a whole edge like we do. Yeah, we're going to grab onto that and we're going to come right down that whole length right now. Puddling's really the hard work here. I mean, those guys, if you're if you're raking behind a Vibra Screed, you're busy. You're working. You only want to keep that about an inch high on the screed. You don't want to let it get higher than that or it'll vibrate. The concrete will vibrate right under it and leave a hump. If you leave it too low, then you're going to have a hole there. So those guys doing the raking, they're just, they're working as fast as they can to keep that concrete at a certain level. You can see we use the old style bull float. It's just, it's just the way we were taught. I do have another one with a knuckle where you don't have to bend down and, and lift up. But we just prefer the old one, that's all. We like the one with the rounded edges on it too. It doesn't really leave any lines when you bull float. We use about 18 feet of handle when we bull float too. Alright, we're finishing up here. We're going to do that last square and then we're going to move up to the garage. Usually what we'll do on a pour like this, if one guy starts Vibra Screeding, then that one guy will screed the whole floor. That's not quite what we did on this one. I know another guy started, but then I ended up doing most of it. That's typically what we'll do. It doesn't matter who starts. But we just usually like to have one guy run it, and then everything stays the same. Yeah, we're coming down that last bay. I'm going to pick that up and just reset over to make sure that little piece is perfectly flat. Then I'm going to pull that Viber screen right out. And then we're going to finish that little piece off by hand. Well, that's it, guys. That's how to Viber screed a big house residential floor, 30 yard floor. You can use it for residential houses. You can use it for garages. You could, you know, commercial work. I would definitely recommend getting a Viber screed. We use them on probably half of our pours. Some of our pours we just screed by hand. I'll have a video in the playlist that you can check out for screeding concrete floors by hand. But if you don't have a Viber screed yet, I'll definitely have a link down there to one for you you can check out. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.